welcome back to the channel guys here's what's coming up yeah it's very very hot feeling a little bit nervous last week you saw us mission across four countries to surprise charlie and phil at the airport and guess what we made it in this week's video we spend a week on zanzibar with charlie and phil having a wicked time and we celebrate christmas that's right we are three months behind guys We have to get from Harare in Zimbabwe up to Dar es Salaam in five days. We're going to meet my brother and my best buddy Phil in Tanzania. They're joining us on the road for a month. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys. This drive really did take it out of Chloe and I. Lake Malawi. Long day. It was a mission, but alas, we made it and we are now united with the boys. We've made it. We've made it. Oh, yeah, dude, a bit shy. First on the agenda was booking into our hotel room. That Phil brought with him a pack of Monopoly Deal, which we ended up playing about four or five times a day on the trip with the boys. We then picked names out of a bag for Secret Santa. And I think I've got the same. I think we've got the same one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, I haven't. Yep. 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 Secret Santa? So, good morning guys. We are checking out of this lovely apartment slash hotel that we've been in for two nights and heading for the ferry terminal to go to Zanzibar. The crossing from Dar es Salaam to Zanzibar should take us about two hours. We picked up our ferry tickets from the Azam Kilimanjaro office and then joined the very long queue to board the ferry. So we got our ferry tickets, which is quite straightforward, but then the queue and the hustle and bustle to get to the ferry to the terminal area was pretty crazy. And it is so hot today. So we're just waiting for us to be called to jump on the ferry. Two days in Dar es Salaam. Yeah, two was enough. Dar es Salaam is intense. There's uh, something like five million people there, and it feels like every one of them wants to meet you, ask you lots of questions, and then ask for a tip. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's it's in your face, but it's cool. It's raw. It's very exciting. But glad to be leaving. Head into Zanzibar. See some uh, see some wildlife. Do some diving. Eat some nice food, Christmas. Yeah, was it Christmas tomorrow or the day after? Two days. Two days. <laughs> He's... <laughs> He's loving all of it. Anyway, we'll see you on the other side of the ferry. So we have made it to the other side. Um, it's been quite an experience, yeah. feel a little bit like you're being herded like cattle, um, but it's part of the fun isn't it really. Yeah. So we're just getting passport stamped now and then we've got a driver that's going to take us to uh, Paje which is where we're staying. Hopefully get something to eat because we're all starving. We all bundled in a taxi and prepared ourselves for a two and a half hour drive across the island. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, yeah, yes. And just like that, we had arrived in paradise. After a bite to eat, we took a stroll along this beautiful white sand beach, checked into our Airbnb and then relaxed for the rest of the afternoon. much since we've been in Zanzibar we've just been chilling out looking around but today I'm sweating yeah it's very very hot but today is Christmas Eve and we actually picked names out of a hat to do secret Santa between the four of us and we're in the markets 
so we're all gonna split up and try and find something for our secret Santa. So let's do it. After picking up our secret Santa gifts in the market, we made our way back to our Airbnb, cooled off in the pool and just enjoyed each other's company. This was a holiday after all. That evening, we made our way back to the beach, had some dinner and then enjoyed the beach entertainment. It's Christmas guys! I don't really know how to explain what's going on here but this was a request from Charlie for us to dance to Mariah Carey with Christmas hats on by the pool so please enjoy! Oh wow! What a surprise! I don't know who that's from! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh. Safari gear! Oh, that's so nice! Oh that is cool! Oh! oh. Hey, that's nice. Aww. How does it feel? How does it feel string from your Merry Christmas everybody. So we have had some brekkie and we've all got our Christmas hats on and now we are on our way to Buccaneer Diving School because we are all heading out on a dive today. What a way to celebrate Christmas. You guys excited? Woo! Woo! Let's do it. So Charlie has just done his first pool section of the Discover Scuba Diving. I actually think the only pool part that he'll do just doing sort of basic skills and getting to grips with the equipment and everything. And then Phil has done a refresher. He's actually a dive master but hasn't been diving in 10 years. So he just wanted to refresh and make sure he was familiar with everything. And yeah, we're just going to get all our gear prepped and head out. The tide is coming in more and more now, which is good because the boat is just sat on the sand at the moment. We're excited. Feeling a little bit nervous because it has been a little bit, like a month or two months or so since we went out. But yeah, excited. <laughs> After a briefing, we headed out to the boat and towards our dive site. And just like that, it was time to explore the underwater world. This is Dee Dee, our dive guide, who is an absolute legend. It was so special to share this incredible experience with Charlie and Phil.
Of course, we had to get a team photo to celebrate our first dive together. Present. After about 45 minutes under the water, it was time to head back to the boat and make our way to the second dive site of the day. What a way to spend Christmas Day. We made our way back to the beach, got a spot of lunch before making our way back to the Airbnb, freshened up and headed out for our Christmas dinner. Not exactly a traditional Christmas, but a memorable one to say the least. second day out diving, uh, so this will be our third dive on Zanzibar. We're going to try and see how many different species of fish we can spot today and try and name them as we film them. So that's the mission of today. All set? We know guys, we know that we didn't film much of our trip to Zanzibar, but honestly, we just kind of needed some time to relax, catch up with Charlie and Phil, and just really take in this whole experience. Diving was incredible, and we only have Mozambique to compare it to, but we'd say it's definitely on par with that. Our time in Zanzibar may be coming to an end, but there are still many more adventures that we will be sharing with Charlie and Phil. And we are so excited to be bringing you guys along with us.
it was time to say goodbye to Zanzibar and hello to the next leg of our crazy journey. On our return back to Dar es Salaam, the guys picked up this pretty cool land cruiser from Safari Masters and the overlanding leg of the journey began. Our first night was spent at this beautiful campsite, a few hours north of the city. And you guys are just going to have to wait and see what we get up to next week. Thank you so much for watching guys and we will see you in the next one.